Hello, come in. Oh, please don't get up, Mr. Crawley. I, I was just wondering if you meant what you said the other day about um, showing me the run of things. Of course I did. What are you doing now? Notifying all the tenants in the celebration of Maxim's return with his bride, this week's rent will be free. Oh, was that Maxim's idea? Oh, yes. All the servants get an extra week's wages, too. Oh, he didn't tell me. <laughs> oh, can't I help you? I, I could at least take the stamps. Well, that's terribly nice of you. Uh, won't you sit down? Oh, yes, thank you. I, I was down at the cottage on the beach the other day. There was a man there, a queer sort of person. Jasper kept barking at him. Oh, yeah. Must have been Ben. Excuse me. He's quite harmless. We give him odd jobs now and then. That cottage place seemed to be going to rack and ruin. Why isn't something done about it? Well, I think if Maxim wanted anything done about it, he'd tell me. Are those all Rebecca's things down there? Yes. Yes, they are. What did she use the cottage for? The boat used to be moored near there. What boat? What happened to it? Was that the boat she was sailing in when she was drowned? Yes. Capsized and sank. She was washed overboard. Wasn't she afraid to go out like that alone? She wasn't afraid of anything. Where did they find her? Near Edgecombe. About 40 miles up channel, about two months afterwards. Maxim went up to identify her. It was horrible for him. Yes, it must have been. Mr. Crawley, please don't think me morbidly curious. It isn't that. It's just that I feel it's such a disadvantage. All the time, whenever I meet anyone, Maxim's sister or even the servants, I, I know they're all thinking the same thing. They're all comparing me with her, with, with Rebecca. Oh, you mustn't think that. I can't tell you how glad I am that you've married Maxim. It's going to make all the difference to his life. And from my point of view, it's very refreshing to find someone like yourself who's not entirely in tune, shall we say, with Mandalay. That's very sweet of you. I dare say I, I've been stupid, but every day I, I realize the things that she had and that I lack. Beauty and, and wit and intelligence and all the things that are so important in qualities that are just as important, more important, if I may say so. Kindness and sincerity and, if you'll forgive me, modesty, mean more to a husband than all the wit and beauty in the world. We none of us want to live in the past, Maxim least of all. It's up to you, you know, to lead us away from it. I, I promise you I won't bring this up again, but before we end this conversation, would you answer just one more question? If it's something I'm able to answer, I'll do my best. Tell me, what was Rebecca really like? I suppose... I suppose she was the most beautiful creature I ever saw.